Scott, thank you for joining us. That's obviously a difficult afternoon here at the Broadfield Stadium. Can I get your reflection on the game? Um, obviously disappointed with the result. Um, I felt that we were slow um, in our in in our possession. Um, certainly in the first half, I thought when we kind of got through them, the ball speed needed to go up, and I felt it only it only happened probably down the right side more so. Um, I thought that. Uh, Kellen Gordon and Liam Kelly linked up really well down that right side. Um, we wanted more of them actions, um, but I felt we were slow getting it kind of to that end of the pitch or to that um, that area of the pitch, and wanted a little bit more down the left. Um, you know, um, we spoke at half time. We're still in the game, obviously, and I felt that we we were waiting for something to happen in the first half rather than taking the game to them. I felt second half. We started the game brilliantly and we were in complete control. Um, and then the second, game, uh, second goal kills us. We don't defend that moment at all very well. Um, you know, we're, we've got all the ball, all the possession. You know, we're on the front foot. The, the whole game is in that half of the pitch. Then they kind of get down the left hand side and sling one ball in the box and score from out, out of nothing. And, uh, you know, it angers me that, that we can't defend one ball in the box. Um, and then they score, I don't know what it was, 10 minutes afterwards and obviously becomes a, an uphill challenge from there on in, especially going down to 10 men. Yeah, the second goal for Mantua seemed like a real sucker punch. Obviously, we got back into the game with the penalty just before half-time and that really kills, I suppose, the mood, doesn't it? Because you think we're playing so well. Will Wright's literally just hit the bar a minute before their goal. Is it difficult for the players to sort of pick themselves up after that? Do you think that's why we then went, perhaps went three down and then obviously down to ten men? But that's football, you know. We, we've got to manage moments better for sure. Um, I felt that the big moments in the game, their team managed better than we did. Um, we're naive um, in a lot of kind of things that we do. Um, you know, we're, we're um, we got free kick towards the end of the game. We've got ten men. You know, we, we want to try and test them a little bit. We get a free kick on the halfway line. We go all the way back to Luke, and then he kicks it from from outside his box. I just kind of, you know, I don't understand it as much as we want to play football. We, we've got to ask questions more, more so over the opposition. And I felt there was moments where we were just naive with our play. Um, yeah, and you know, we'll we'll write it's the bar. And you're right, we're we're on the front foot. We're the better side. We're, you know, we're in complete control of the game, in my opinion. Um, and then we don't defend one moment. You know, there's too many bodies round the ball, or around the player that put the ball in the box. Nobody really engages to him. There's too many bodies there. He, he gets so much space to cross it, crosses it from deep, and and the smallest player on the pitch puts it in the net. Um, you know, I don't. You know, I don't. I don't understand it, how we can't defend that moment better. There was lots of fouls and lots of stoppages in the game today. That seemed to sort of take us out of our stride a little bit. Do you think? Because Obviously, we know how good we can be on the ball and how fast we like to move it, but Mansfield seem to just be stopping us and not necessarily fairly all the time. Um, they're an experienced team. You know, they've probably got, I would dare say, around 2,000 um, league appearances more than we have on the pitch today. Um, but they're an experienced team, and that, that's what experienced teams can do. They, they know how to see a game out. They know how to manage moments in the game. And like I say, I think that they managed the key moments in the game better than we did. How do you break this game down? Do you have to look at the key moments of the game where we were in control, like you say, at the start of the second half and work on that for the game against Wimbledon next week? No, I think that we, we always break it down and look at it in detail about what, how we can improve and bits that we were good at. But for me, too slow um, with our play. Um, and, you know, not being able to, to defend moments where we, we should. I think they're just simple moments where we, we, we just need to do our job better. You're looking at we've obviously got the perfect opportunity to respond next Friday as we tackle Wimbledon. Obviously, as you said there, you're going to break this game down and have a look at it, but there's no better way to respond, is there? Friday night under the lights here at the Broadfield and, you know, a chance to put things right. Yeah, for sure. No, we know that the games are going to start coming now, so we've got to make sure that we, A, first of all, recover from today. Um, we debrief quickly and, and then start preparing... Um, Quickly, against uh, you know a good side who's doing really well in, in Wimbledon for Friday night. Thanks, Carl. Thank you. Well, thank you for joining us. That's obviously a difficult and tricky afternoon here at the Broadfield Stadium. Can I get your reflection on the game? Uh, yeah, exactly what you said. It, it feels like we kind of shot ourselves in the foot, to be honest. Um, get it back to one all. Um, 
probably in control of the game and then concede I mean it's a good ball in the box I should probably get out and stop the cross a bit better to be honest um, and then the gaffer's probably going to be pulling his hair out at, as we know he goes on about us marking in the box and um, obviously the first goal was similar um, and then I think we probably needed sort of five minutes to, to get control again and we sort of went a bit gung-ho, um, maybe too early um, and they caught us and then 3-1, then the red card and it was sort of an uphill battle from there really. Yeah, it shows how difficult football can be, can't it? Because we come out of the second half, we're on top after, you know, you've slowly working our way into the game in the first half, obviously you hit the bar and probably less than a minute later they go down the other end and score. I think as Scott just touched on in his interview, if that goes in, it's probably a different game, isn't it? And it just shows how football can turn just like that, doesn't it? Yeah, 100%. And I think if we don't go and... I don't know what the minute was for the third goal, but I think if we, like I said, sort of steady the ship for five minutes and I think we were hurting them and I think they like we could feel that the, um, the way we were playing was going to hurt them and I think they, they probably would have just dropped a little bit deeper and they probably would have been happy to try and hold on to, to a 2-1. Um, but obviously once the third goal goes in... Yes, like, like I said, it's going to be hard to get back into the game from there. Yeah, and it must be hard to sort of manage that. Obviously, Scott's touched on the fact that it's a young group. Like, in terms of managing those situations, it must be hard to, you know, you probably feel hard done by, don't you, when they go 2-1 up, having, you know, been playing so well for the first 10 minutes or so of the first half, and you're immediately trying to search that second goal, and it's just about, I suppose, just taking that time and, as you say, trying to manage those moments a little bit better, perhaps. Yeah, I think with the way the, way the game was going, I think we, we were dominating the ball, um, and we sort of come away from trying to get back to 2-2 two, two as quick as possible and, and maybe going a little bit... It's sort of when you attack, we attack a bit like basketball, really. Um, if we didn't score, then they'd have an attack on us sort of sort of game. So I think, like I said, we, we needed five minutes to to settle back into it and then sort of, sort of play around their box a bit more again um, and try and open them up from there as, instead of being so open when we're trying to break, break through them. And Yeah, I mean, they're a very experienced side and... They're off the back of I don't know how many how many weeks or a couple of weeks and they haven't played so once they built into the game, um, maybe, maybe that showed as well I don't know but um, yeah fair play to them they've got the three points so we move on to the next one. Yeah, it's tricky I suppose to sort of look at these games and try and pick the positives out of them but as we spoke about so many times with the gaffer and other players when we come off the back of a defeat. It's very rare that we've said that we've been outplayed. You know, we were in the game for large periods. We were probably the better side for large periods. And I suppose that's what you've got to look at, isn't it? It's just the individual moments that we've got to sharpen up on because we know <coughs> that we are a very good side. Yeah, but I think that's going to start getting frustrating to a point, to be honest. Um, there's no point in, in being a good side um, if you don't pick up points. I mean, it doesn't happen here often, to be honest. We're very good at home. We know that. Um, but yeah, our away form, um, we have played well at times and probably not picked up the results, but you'd, you'd take playing worse and winning games. So um, we need to find that balance, really. And obviously, we've, we've picked up an away win at Colchester. Um, so hopefully, we can take those, pick up points away from home um, over Christmas. Yeah, and it's a perfect opportunity to respond next week. Obviously, we're back in action slightly earlier than usual on next Friday night. It, as I say, it's just a perfect opportunity, isn't it, to bounce back and put things right? Yeah, 100%. And another side, I don't know how they got on today, but another side sort of where we want to be or um, yeah, where we're aspiring to, aspiring to be. So um, we'll go into that looking to take three points again and um, we know it's a tough place to come. So um, I'm sure they'll be wary of that and we're going to try and take three points. Thank you, Will.